in this video we're going to see how to implement 3d translation in a program well we cannot actually visualize visualize our translation in 3d so what we do is uh, we create a 3d object in two dimension and then translate it and then see the result okay so I've already created a file name called translate.c I'm going to do this in C primary language so let me start with my header files includes stdio.h include graphics.h include uh, math.h but I don't think we're going to use math here but still let's just keep it here uh, I'm going to be declaring four variables here in teaser max x max y mid x and mid y I'll explain you what these variables are or will or where they are going to be used let's also create another function here called void access so what we are going to do in this function is uh, we'll first clear our device here okay and after this we're going to be creating a line mid x uh, 0 mid x mid y okay you'll understand what these lines are sorry max x sorry mid x max y also line uh, 0 mid y max x and mid y okay so I'll tell you what this function does this function actual actually divides our screen or draws a 2d 2d coordinate system in our screen okay so whenever we run this program we're going to see a 2d coordinate system uh, in our screen so also let's just declare our main function um, main we are going to declare x y z okay i think we should be i think we won't be using z2 but let's just keep it for now now initialize our graphics variables gd equals to detect and gm and after this let's just define detect graph and gd and gm okay uh, now after these initializations sorry also we need to call in the graph and gd and person gm and you'll be giving a path here but since uh, in my case it's going to be null so after this I'm actually going to use these max x max y and mid x and mid y so what this does is max x equals to get max x so what this does is get max x function returns the maximum x coordinate of the returns the maximum x coordinates provided by your graphics driver or your graphics mode similarly max y gives you uh, the maximum y coordinate provided by your graphics driver or your graphics mode now what we're going to do is we're going to divide these into exact half because when we draw a coordinate system we'll be drawing uh, we'll be drawing all the four quadrants and then and then uh, they will be divided equally half there so this is why we're using this code max y divide by 2 okay uh, almost half of our work in work is done here now as I told you already uh, we cannot visualize 3d in a computer graphics here. so what we need to do is or or what we do here is we create a 2d coordinate system we and we create our 3d object here so let's define a call a function called bar 3d now what this function does is this function Accepts parameter which will be used to uh, create our solid object or a 3D object here. So I'll explain you each and every parameters used here. Mid y okay okay. So what mid x takes is so mid x plus 50 here uh, is the y sorry is the x coordinate of our top top left corner of our 3d object mid y minus 100 is the y coordinate of our top left corner similarly mid x plus 60 is the x coordinate 
of uh, right bottom corner and midwife minus 90 is y coordinate of a right bottom corner now now the now the value 10 indicates your depth like how much uh, how much deep your object go or the z value of of your object as we discuss it discuss it in the class and then and then the the last one is a flag uh, the flag if you set it to zero it will it will not put a bar bar on your 3d object and if you set it to zero you'll see a bar on your 3d object which basically means a line for your 3d object okay so this is all it is now i'm going to declare my uh transition factors so let's just give it 40 tx is 40 okay so yeah i need to define this let's just write tx and ty here i don't think we're going to be using tz so tx is 40 ty i'm going to give it 20 and again we're going to put or draw a bar of transition so this is mid x plus dx plus 50 mid y minus uh, dy plus 100 okay and uh, mid y plus d Ah, sorry mid x okay, this is mid x and that is mid y so mid x plus dx plus 60 and mid y minus dy plus 90 and the other values as it is 10 comma 5 okay so this is done we call a get function to hold our output screen and then finally call a close graph function okay so it's done <clears throat> now let's run the code so we'll be running this code here transit.c is my file name in i mean c programming file name a c file name and then sample one is my executable file let's just run this and as you can see a file called sample one has been generated here okay so let me just run this sample one file here now you can see uh, that we have a cube here which is being translated to translated to another location well i talked about the axis but i don't see any axis here i think we missed something out here let's just call our axis function here and i and we can see our axis here again compile the code and run sample one now see you can see these four quadrants are uh, on your screen now okay so that's all for the transition program uh i'll see you again in another video uh, and i'll bring you 3d rotation